Welcome to A New Perspective with your sister, Leslie Roberts. Come on in. Take a seat. Let's talk. I am so glad that you guys have tuned in to the next sessions and season of Love Styles. Five Love Styles that we will be discussing over the next two weeks about what we learn from our childhood. Now, the reason why I am learning um, the love styles from our childhood is because me and my husband, we do a couple Zoom. And in that Zoom, we are learning the five love languages to speak um, to one another with. But we hit a brick wall. We had to stop because we had to get the understanding and the clarity that what we were showing and speaking um, come from our childhood. And all that stuff, sometimes, most of the time, all the time, is unhealthy. So when you learn how you were taught to love, I believe that is the essence and the origin before you can get to how to love someone else in their love language. You got to know your own, okay? So the five love languages, I'm sorry, the five love styles that we adapt from fear are one, the vacillator. Number two, the pleaser. Three, the controller. Four, the victim. And five, the avoider, the avoider. I am talking today about the vacillator. I am the vacillator. That's why I'll start there. The vacillator's childhood was unpredictable, unstable. Um, their parents and their guardians, whoever cared for them, did not put their children's priority, um, their children's need a priority. So what happens with that person, the vacillator, they become extremely angry because of the abandonment that was present. The abandonment in turn have made them fearful and angry. And now they are extremely perspective people. They're always skeptical and um, thinking about what someone is believing or thinking about them. They're sensitive, but their sensitive don't show up in a raw way sometimes. Their sensitive show up in a raw, angry way because abandonment is a very painful place. I remember going to counseling a long time ago, and when the counselor heard of my abandonment, he told me that was the greatest level of fear, um, abandonment. So I learned then that I had an issue. But they always feel misunderstood. And when they're let down, they put a wall up. And believe me, you, they will not allow you to enter that place again. Um, unless they learn to grow up and forgive quickly. But abandonment makes you deject and reject everybody around you until they can prove to you that they are for you. So that's the new perspective today. Um, it's all about the vacillator. If you're a vacillator, one of the ways to help yourself or someone to help you is have you slow down. We have to slow down and pace ourselves when we're getting to know new people. Because again, we're always in a perspective trying to figure out the perspective, the underlining motive of a situation, which is not a bad thing, but we have to pace ourselves in getting to know people because we have to understand that hurt people are hurt people. So we can't expect what they can't give. So that's the new perspective for today. It's about the vacillator. And I hope and I pray that if you're a vacillator, you will have someone who can help you heal by just allowing you to take your time. And I hope you can heal by allowing yourself to take your time. Don't try to get through or get to know someone too quickly. 
Just pace yourself and take your time. That's the new perspective. Change your mind, change your world. The next time we come together, we'll be talking about the pleaser. So have a great one and you stay blessed. Bye-bye. Bye.